Hey guys, and welcome back to Dagon Romba. Um, hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out why those footprints were? Actually, how were you able to find them? I... Uh, after listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. It's probably better to say that I snuck <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. <laughs> that bastard, he did something shady again. No. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. I get to squat it down near the entrance to the beach and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. I went through all the trouble of gathering all this. These footprints. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right, I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. Unfortunately, Fuhiko couldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> but I guess it's no big deal. Seems obvious the footprints belong to this person. Sayanji. They're gonna they're gonna hammer down Sayanji, but it's not her. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well Uh, so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> uh, but it was totally worth it. Her, the footprints I collected were smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake, these are Hyoko's footprints. Yeah, I know, because we saw her running away. We already knew this. Uh, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? Okay. See? Yeah, and she was inside the closet. Thank you for hammering in, Sayanji. Yeah, that's... The gummy candies, they came with four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Looks like she got them from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People like are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case coming from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to this incident. Um, yeah, we already knew all this. It's not Sayanji. She was there. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end! Come! Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! Hmm. The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Elevator. <laughs> so they're hammering in Sayanji. Uh, the the last time they did that, it was like, oh yeah, it's totally Sayanji. <laughs> it's not though. All right. Who did they hammer in last time? They hammered in Pecco, cause she was in the room. But then they it was like, oh, but I was in the bathroom, blah blah. blah. This this might be an easy one. I've made a chart. There is no escape. I made like a chart off screen. Um a couple of like an episode or two ago. Uh and I'm just looking at everybody's things. The only possible people that it could be Um she couldn't uh, Sayanji couldn't have found the body, but she came from the crime scene, so there's an if there. Nekamaru was fighting Akane. Uh, who didn't? So we haven't really talked to Nekomaru, but he uh, he was fighting Akane before Akane came, or I guess that's Akane's account. Um, we talked amongst ourselves, and we left the beach house and Mahudo's body. So Sonia, never mind, claims that she was putting on a swimsuit, uh, but she also is helping with the investigation, so. That's that's different. I, it's got to be like Fuhidu or um, I don't know why I'm walking. There. Let's go to the map. We're going to Monokuma Rock.
Oh, I just have to walk there. Because I'm on the central island. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's the third island. I wonder what the third island looks like. <clears throat> so, who do I think it is? Who do I think it is? Uh, there, there's a lot of people that are hammering in. So it could be a multitude of people. We don't have the information necessary to necessarily make a, a decision, I think. So I don't know if we should be making a decision right now. Gundam has no alibi. No, let me go help him. Well, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Hey, stop harassing little girls. This is... what's going on? Hyoko is trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her back by force. But Hyoko is still trying to run away, so Monokuma is still trying to wrap her in a full meal suit. If you don't stay put, I'm going to make you part of the island's food chain. Jeez, making me waste my sweet ass time. There's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuhiko? That guy he totally ditched. He ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm right here. Huh? Ah, Fuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fiko, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway, anyway it looks like everyone's here. So let us depart now. See ya later! Uh, I'll go first and be one step ahead of you. This is bad. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like... Do you even have to prepare? Show some spirit! If you don't have enough power, harness your talent energy. Come on and bring out that energy. This too must be the will of So it begins. The beginning of the end. <laughs> Let's keep our spirits high so that one day we can find shining hope. That's right, I can only moving forward is the only option. This is this happens every time. Raw. So what if that evil. murders somebody? This is such bad taste. The worst, lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I move my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves. I'm awkward. For some reason, my breath is short. I'm nervous, and I'm, don't, I'm not prepared for this. I hate that dude. This game does that constantly. They're like, oh, I'm nervous. Ew, we have to do it anyway. Surrounding the room. Everybody's sad. I know. I've been here the entire time. As it shook with the elevator, we were inside and continued to drop. Throughout the drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. Oh, suddenly I stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I began to endure the pressure by firmly standing on my legs. After a while, the elevator's vibration gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Aim. Defeat the boring routine. So, so I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I allowed you to think otherwise anyway. I do kind of like Obvious. it. It's like blue now. Going through the trouble to, uh, of doing something like this, really, is that your true intention? No, no! Nothing really. Essentially, killing this killing game is just time... It's just to kill time anyway. <laughs> kill time to break away from my purpose that alone is my purpose like... my purpose is only gonna be a weakness those who have a purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch that's why you guys should forget about cheap ass purposes like trying to survive just enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts it's starting the class trial is starting 
All right, let's go. Maru Koz Kozuimi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her is among us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but it's true. So shut up. Regardless, we need to find the answer. Doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. And finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Yes. Please. Yes, I would. Yes, I would, most certainly. Set skills. I wonder if there's a new game plus mode where you can like find out everything and save everybody's things. Okay, it's still there. I just want to make sure it automatically saved. Open the handbook. Truth bullets. Let's look at our truth bullets real quick. These are Sionji's. Uh, metal bat. Do the blood games coding it. Okay, it was the same murder weapon used as the trial at murder case. Um. Yep, okay, so this is interesting. I don't know how this is going to play into the murder. It's Pekko. She wasn't actually swimming. Oh, wouldn't that be a twist? She used the water bottles to pour all over herself, so she looked wet. And then when she was asked for an excuse, she can use that as an alibi. Ooh. Oh, wouldn't that be the kind of twist that this game throws, huh? You gotta think outside the box with this stuff. Uh, pretty anime girl mask uh, leads me to believe that um, something with the Sionji, maybe it, maybe it wasn't. Uh, yellow gummy, definitely from Sionji. Uh, she was there. I don't know what her purpose there was. Um, uh, so the shower's out of order and cannot be. Used. Uh, so and, and they can't get up there either. They can't they can't get up to this barred window. It can't be opened. It can't be unless you hitch your piggyback ride from someone and or find a ladder or something. A uh, broken fish tank was found in the music room. The victim's body was first discovered and was found everywhere. I don't know how they're gonna put that in there. I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna do that. Girl E had her swimsuit stolen by someone. Because uh, uh, there was a broken window in the music room where the victim's body was discovered. Normally you can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance hall. It's definitely Girl E that killed the person. Any prize consists of an envelope. What you did to my sister, we'll talk then. Broken vase. A uh, girl. Yeah, it's a, this is a blackmail photo, right? Okay, so yeah, it's a blackmail photo because she obviously did it. Okay. There's what's her name in the thing? Girl, he was killed. Girl, he was killed at the end. Gully was killed at the end. Gummy bag, yeah, that's just to, to say that she was there. Sionji did invite her autopsy report. She died instantly, so she couldn't have been dragged. All right, um, yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. I, I think I think that's pretty good. I don't want to change the difficulty. Oh, I hope that's not a bad idea. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to skip this one, or skip around in this one, uh, because it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt to skip. Let's go. I I'm trying to be now prepared then, for this one. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. 
Right. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I... Now yeah, then, yeah. let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, yeah. we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. Alright, so Chiaki is going to be our main player in this. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. Yeah. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? Yeah. So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Girl A, Girl B. Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, and Boy F. So, Girl A, we already know, uh, is is Mikan. Girl B is I don't know. Girl C, Girl B, C, and D are I don't know. Girl E is obviously the girl that died, which is Mahiru. And then Boy F is obviously Kuzuryu, or Kuzuryu, or Fuhiko. Right? And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using the staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The ca first character the player was able to control was girl A. The identify uh, identity is Mikan. I see! Girl A is probably Mikan Sumiki. <laughs> yep, it's you. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff roll, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Uh huh. Why am I, I have the clouds in the back. That's an infringement of my right to privacy. <laughs> A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah. A nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game you too. You did. It was one of the girls. Huh? <gasps> Girl D. F. Damn it! Ow. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the girl who said that was. Girl C? Hyper and energetic. Okay, so I know who that is. Uh, okay, so it's obviously girl B. I see. Girl B was short and foul mouth. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouth? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Next is girl C. Hyper energetic and unique. Ibuki. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Stop it. Please. <laughs> Please. Let's move on to Girl D. Girl D. I see. Wasn't... Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Fuyuhiko. Um, aren't you guy F, Fuyuhiko? <laughs> I was in a game. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. You're the one that beat the game first. <sighs> that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. 
The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuriyu, and then another Kuzuriyu. True. Oh, why right. do you keep saying there were two Kuzuriyus? So, definitely he's the one that sent the note to Mahi. It's Mahi's. not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? So, uh, Fuyuko's last name is Kuzu. First choice to have a hunch, but to call me out like that, Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. Um, he had an older sister. Damn it! Oh. The reason why Fuyuko's last name Kuju appears twice probably because I can prove it with this. He has a little sister. Okay, sure. In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. <laughs> hmm? What do you mean, little sister? I don't think it's him. I don't think it's Fuyuko. This is what Guy F. said in the game. Wait, well, I know it's probably like he attempted to or something like that. That bitch with the hell, yeah. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. I should have known Plus, that was him from just that line. The sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuriyu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuriyu, play? You probably noticed, right? Who died now? Uh, the only character... The high school girl who died at the beginning. I'm doing pretty good. The dead high school girl I'm, I'm answering the them all like now. relatively fast. The only person I can think of. Cause I cause I kinda know where the conversation's going. Which girl you was it? Which, what do you do? Yeah, definitely him. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? <laughs> I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Although, uh, you know he's crazy, but he's helping. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the movie. Don't go making shit up, bastard. If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and set me off. Huh. It happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that I game don't think was it's based him. on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude. This class trial would go class way too trial fast. Now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. I agree. See, I feel like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm on Nagato's side, like, completely. Uh, if, if, if Fuyuhiko's Anyways, the killer, then now we've established this is too easy. All the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Uh, 
Huh? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. This says a strange rivalry. Hey, thing. no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting <laughs> killed is so violent, don't you know? And that wasn't mine. Why? Why? Such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Yes. Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why Girl E was killed. Who is Girl E again? Uh, because Girl E was the killer. I see. The reason Girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're huh. fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But. But. What? It, is it. Is that true? Girl E. She, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. Yeah. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Yes. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Alright, so we're going to need to pay attention to this map. Um, girl A, B, and C and D are off talking in the in the main entrance. Uh, girl E is the one that kills the victim. Uh, that's a locked door, and there's a broken window there. And water tank and gravel. Gosh, I don't even know. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Yeah. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. Okay. But the door to the music room was locked. Got it. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, yeah. the girls thought the killer escaped through there. No. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. Yeah. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Yeah. Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? Yes. By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped. No. And sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. <laughs> hey, 
Is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E was waiting in the hallway is the killer. Then what did girl E do after killing the girls inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Okay, school twist, entrance photo, wow, there's a lot, there's a lot here. So what I've learned, right, um, is to listen to the whole conversation. So, at that, let's end this a little bit early, because in case I have to do any editing uh, on this part, because it always happens, where I, I fail at this part a bunch of times, and I don't want you guys to watch it, um... Uh, unless unless I, I get it like right away and then if I'll have to cut this next one I don't know we'll see thank you guys for watching this has been Tuba Player Negative AE if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure you leave a like if you didn't let me know uh, leave a comment if you're gonna have a conversation subscribe if you feel necessary and uh, if you guys if you guys know what's going on and you guys haven't beaten the game yet I don't want any spoilers if you guys haven't beaten the game yet and you know what's going on you should totally try and tell me um I, I don't know. Maybe I want to make my own decisions. Um, thank you guys for watching. Tuba player negative AE out. Peace, guys.